Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your HP computer if it's appearing slow or it's booting up very slowly, slow performance, or maybe you want to optimize it for gaming, video editing, that sort of thing. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I'd recommend doing here would be to open up the search menu, type in adjust, Best match or come back with adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go ahead and open that up. You want to set this to adjust for best performance. So generally by setting it as adjust for best performance, you're going to lose some of your visual effects. However, you can certainly turn some of them back on if you want to re-enable them. If you want to make some adjustments, you can. But generally speaking, adjust for best performance will give you the best performance out of these particular settings here. So select apply and OK to save that. Something else you can try here too would be to right click on the start button and you want to select where it says task manager. Select the startup tab and then you want to go ahead and select any apps that you do not need to restart every time your computer turns on. So generally unless you're using an antivirus which you should keep on or a file sharing application, so something that backs up to the cloud like Dropbox or if you use Microsoft OneDrive you may want to keep that enabled but if you don't use OneDrive, you can disable it, and pretty much every other program in here you can pretty much turn off here as well. You just would select it and then select the Disable button. If you ever wanted to re-enable, you could, but basically disabling these programs from starting up every time your computer starts up definitely decreases the startup time. But the reason why they boot up when your computer boots up is to require less time to actually load the application once Windows has started. So that's why some of these programs will actually start up when your computer turns on, so it launches the program quicker if you open it up. But that's generally unnecessary, and like I said, it will slow your computer down every time your computer turns on, whether you're using these programs or not. So go ahead and turn off ones you're not using. Something else you can do here as well would be to open up the search and type in Control Panel. Best match, you come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to set your view by to large icons, and then select the Power Options button. You want to select where it says Preferred Plans. You want to select High Performance. Favors Performance, but may use more energy. If you don't see it here, you, you might have to expand this bottom section if it says Show Additional Plans. And you want to select High Performance. So that's something else you guys can try here as well. Close out of here. Also, go ahead and open up the Search menu and type in Apps and Features. Best match to come back with Apps and Features. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go and uninstall applications you're no longer using on your computer. So a lot of Microsoft Corporation apps may not be able to be uninstalled, but quite a few of them can be in my experience. So if you click the three dot icon next to it, you should be able to see if they can be uninstalled or not. And you can do the same thing for programs that you have installed. So just go ahead and select the three dot icon next to it and then walk through the uninstall process. So again, something else I would definitely recommend trying there. And if you close out of here, Go open up the search, type in disk cleanup, best match, come back with disk cleanup, go ahead and open that up. And you want to select where it says cleanup system files, go ahead and left click on that. And now you want to go ahead and select the OK button. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Select delete files. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and actually restart your computer. And now back in Windows, something else you can try here too would be to run a system defrag. So open up the search menu, type in defrag. Best result, should go back with defragment and optimized drives. Go ahead and open that up. And then you want to select the optimize button for your system hard drive here. If you're running an SSD, they can't be defragged, but Windows will allow you to optimize SSDs. But that only applies in that situation, but hard disk drives you can defrag and optimize. But pretty straightforward process here, guys. You close out of here and restart your computer, and then hopefully you should notice a decent 
improvement on your system performance. So pretty straightforward process. I do advise I will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.